So if I look like the cat that uh, swallowed the canary, there's a reason for it. I have. <laughs> when I titled my video the other day of Jacinda, I saw something because I split up the word and I'll show you. I have found more proof that she is the beast from the sea. She is the one with the blasphemous name. Amen. So I'm just going to take you back through and uh, just like my dreams have would have been telling me recently of me telling her off. It's about um, time that she is about to to exit the scene or be exited. And as I showed you in my video the other day, she is um, trying to convince herself she's in control, but all her ba body language is saying quite the opposite. So I'll just play this and take my phone off the hook in case anyone rings. Just watch her. Watch her straight away. Her arm, her hand goes up. You know, this is very um, um, unlike her, and she goes, there's no, you know, she just goes up to start fiddling with her hair, and she's stroking her head. You know, this is a, a comfort, a comfort thing she's doing, and then she, um, her Adam's apple's showing very strongly at the moment, um, but and then she goes and tries to hold up in this grin and really comes on you know, the, the uh, attack, you know, so she's really trying to exert herself and act like she's really confident, but it's exactly the opposite. You basically said, this is going to be like, well, it's almost like, I probably don't see it like this, the two different classes of people, if you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights, if you are vaccinated. That is what it is, so, yep, yep. Can you describe that you were previously hoping not to, have, not to have to do that, I guess, when we still mm. like we could maintain the nation across the whole country? I guess mm. that has now changed. So everything, I think it was least, least everything least about, if you look up body language, any movement around the, the here she is trying to be thoughtful, everything here, um, you know, is just so fake. She is the most incredibly fake thing at all. But the whole touching of the face, you know, always um, is you know, represents lying. This is the elimination. Oh, and look at the hands. Look at the hand thing. That's very, very, you know, comfort me, comfort me, comfort me. In determining that and more because we, hmm. of course, uh, maintain and actually we have managed. Okay, this, this is going to be like, what's well, on? Right. So this, that usual, is her usual one. Da, 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 da. That's her trained one, but. Just look at that, look at that arrogance, look at, you know, waiting for the attack. It's as if, you know, she's just been primed to, um, you know, to take the fall. Yeah, but trying to pretend she doesn't care. Like this, the two different classes of people, if you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated... That is what it is, so, yep, yep. Can you describe that you were previously hoping not to, be able to, not to have to do that, I guess, when we still mm. like we could maintain the elimination across the whole country? I guess that has now changed because... I think it was less, less because necessarily of the elimination determining that and more because we, of course, uh, maintained and actually we have managed very high vaccination rates generally, generally. without the use of certificates. But actually what it's become clear to me is that they're not just a tool to drive up vaccines. They're a tool for confidence. People who have been vaccinated will want to know that they're around other vaccinated people. Uh, they'll want to know that they're in a safe environment. Why? If they're vaccinated, surely they can't get it. <laughs> it is a way that we can give confidence What's the sense? to those who are going back into hospitality or events. Uh, and so that is something that I think we should offer to people who have been vaccinated, that confidence that we're doing everything we can to keep them safe and that they can come back out and start enjoying those things safely. So you basically said... Okay, so now I'll take you, here we are, this is this wonderful person here and who's um, happy, happily starting a two-class system and this is where we began. Here she is doing her Princess Leia um, interpretation at the um, United Nations. Impersonated Princess Leia. I could distill it down into one concept that we are pursuing in New Zealand. It is simple and it. Look at the, all the white. She absolutely never wears white, but this is also a sign that she is one of, um, well, I won't say Hitler's, but this, this is one of Hitler's um, virgins. This is the sign of one of the virgins. And uh, you remember 
Do you remember when, um, what was it, when all, all of um, Nancy Pelosi's uh, were standing against Trump and they all came in in the white? It's a real um, symbolic um, Masonic signal here. But, um, yeah, but she's trying to do the Princess Leia. To one concept that we are pursuing in New Zealand, it is simple and it is this. Kindness. <laughs> Kindness, right. <laughs> Quite a difference from America what you are now. America is governed by Americans. We reject the ideology of globalism and we embrace the doctrine of patriotism. And the fact okay, and now here she is. Look at her going in, going in like a pit bull. This is the real her with the teeth bared together. And here she is going in, he, should I say, going in to uphold the United Nations when she talks about protecting and, and st sticking with those um, organizations that have served us so well in the past. You know, so she's coming full on attack against Trump, who has just said, no, um, it's time to leave the United Nations and these globalist um, lordships. Face of isolationism, protectionism. Okay. That Isolism, you know, this is all about you. Yeah, um, new world order. Racism. The simple concept of looking outwardly and beyond ourselves, of kindness and collectivism, might just be as good a starting point as any. So let's start here. With the institutions that have served us well in times of need and will do so again. We withdrew from the Human Rights Council and we will not return until real reform is enacted. For similar reasons, the United States will provide no support and recognition to the International Criminal Court. As far as America is concerned, the ICC has no jurisdiction, no legitimacy, and no authority. New Zealand remains committed to continue to do our part to building and sustaining international peace and security, to promoting and defending an open, inclusive, and rules-based international order based on universal values, to being pragmatic, empathetic, strong, and kind. The United States is... Okay, so this is what it's all about. The United States standing up for um, the truth against these tyrants that have r ruled the planet and her standing very strongly trying to um, keep the status quo. But of course, as you know, she isn't even doing that. We're not even standing with Australia. We have left um, the five eyes um, and uh, two classes of people. So, and here she is now with the vaccine mandates. And of course, this is... Um, just further evidence that she is the beast from the sea because this is the mark for entry. of the, the new COVID-19 protection framework. This includes hospitality, events, gyms, and close proximity businesses such as hairdressers and barbers. The timing of this coming into force will depend on when we move to the COVID-19 protection. Okay, so for those of you who don't know it, this is all, all about them changing laws so that um, the employers have to vex, be, be, be vexed themselves. Already done under the existing health and safety guidelines. It'll be about how we move forward. Employers will continue to be able to exempt any workers from a vaccination requirement they introduce. We will suggest that people who cannot be vaccinated for medical reasons should be exempt. Okay, so that just negates everything they're saying. So on one hand, the employers and staff have to, but then the employers can um, exclude anyone that, that they decide to. So that doesn't make any sense at all. But there you have it. So that is definitely the, um, the mark where the people can now no longer um, earn their income unless they have this... Um, this mark. Now here she is showing her real kindness. I'm sure um, you've your personal preference for not giving financial support to businesses not using that certificate 
Do you have some colleagues? Okay, that they... see that total arrogance just pushes that woman out of the way. But one thing I know you've probably all seen this, everybody has because it's just so absolutely disgusting. Um, but uh, what really amuses me is how both of them, the minute this interviewer suggests that there may have maybe colleagues who um, don't agree with them, they both um, just burst into spontaneous laughter as if <laughs> any of our colleagues would dare to disagree with us. I doubt it. Convincing and is your aim really to make it as difficult? Okay, get that. Um, your personal preference for not giving financial support to businesses not using VAT certificates. Do you have some colleagues that need convincing and is your aim really to make it as difficult? So she says no straight away. Uh, <laughs> And uh, they both just start laughing. Do you have some colleagues that need convincing? Oh, no. So, well, I've said okay. for some time, Daniel Andrews will stop at nothing to tighten his grip on power. But his news... These people... Um, your personal preference for not giving financial support to businesses not using VAT certificates... Do you have some colleagues that need convincing and is your aim really to make it as difficult? <laughs> Not at all. So good on that um, that uh, woman for pushing her way back in, um, but that shows you the real kindness of our... Senator Holly, thank you very much, ex, Mr Chairman. Ex-Prime Minister, I believe, that it, this, it's so obvious what's happening that... Uh, you know, it seems plain that they are giving her the push and the way that they are really demonising and um, allowing Judith Collins to show herself up as, as bad, if not going to be worse than Jacinda, it would appear that somebody else is getting moved, going to be moved up. So perhaps, um, you know, it's, it's Luxton. And, um, you know, so the dream that I had about him, that everything when I asked the Lord about him, um, that, um, you know, everything was really about restoration, you know, re restoring to the farmers, to the to the good old days, really. So may that come quickly, may that be it, because I will just show you now what, what I meant about her name, proving her who she is, with a blasphemous name. Okay, so I'll, I'll put this on the screen so you can read it. Um, Revelation 12. And this is where we are now, and you you see the prayer from Michael that he did, you know, the other day. So here we have Revelation 12, for those of you who haven't seen it, there is my uh, rendition of that. It was a vision the Lord gave me on my birthday back in, I think, 2013, I think that one was, and uh, that is talking about, I do things too quickly, the woman, the virgin in heaven, which was actually me, which of course represents the church, but there are the angels behind this window about to sing a song that had never been sung before. And of course, I found out years ago that that is the song of Messiah, which has never been sung. And that is what we are taught. That's a Jewish prophecy. And uh, it's speaking of Donald Tr Trump. And... Um, and in that dream, they had to get, they were very nervous, they had to get um, the first note just right. Revelation 12, So, and that's what this is talking about. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. That 12 stars represents uh, 12 tribes of Israel. And so this is talking about the birth, birthing of the church, and she being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars from the heaven, and had cast them to the earth. So I've shown you that. I've, I captured the red dragon being cast out of heaven. What is this? Hmm... Oh my goodness, I just don't get a break, do I? I mean, what the heck is this? Get out. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Now this is 
I believed speaking first of all of Jesus who was taught, caught up to God and his throne and that is where he remains and and also um, but as above so below just as I've shown you that Michael the Archangel Michael is also Michael Flynn on earth and this man child now is Donald Trump and the woman fled into the wilderness where she had the place prepared of God that she should feed her a thousand three score days so that um, and there a pet was a, so th this I believe is talking of Trump's election which was in 16 uh, November 2016 and that would take three years to November um, 20 16 17 18 19 beg your pardon and then um, Oh, hang on, which way? Um, oh, golly, add it up. I can't, I can't add it up now, 16. Anyway, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels, and prevaileth not. Neither was there a place found any more in heaven, and the great dragon was cast down, da-da-da-da. Um, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. So this is saying that the kingdom of heaven and Christ's kingdom has now come on earth. And, you know, and that Satan is no longer in heaven being able to accuse us. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Um, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell, but woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Now I've shown you that... that um, that red dragon that I film cast out of heaven that happened uh, the month before the eclipse, the great eclipse in the USA. And of course, since then, all the fires started, all the flower, f floods started, and all hell, all hell has literally broken loose. After we had, um, so that was, and that was uh, 17, that was um, June. July, oh grief, so many numbers, 17. So the sign was the 23rd of September. That sign there was seen on 23rd of September, 2017. The red dragon was cast out the month before that. So that is, um, was it August? And then I've captured the red dragon coming out of heaven in June. And I was pronounced dead. I was pronounced dead in June, and then a month later, it was in July that I, I filmed the Red Dragon being cast out of heaven. So you can see that on my on my um, on my on my channel. Let's go and look up my videos. And for those of you who don't know, I have a website now. It's christinegavin.com. It's uh, not finished or anything like that, but you can look at uh, some of my other artwork. Um, and the serpent cast out his mouth as a flood after the woman, that he might be, cause her to be carried away with the flood. This, that's what we're in, in now, the flood. And because so many Christians don't understand the mark of the B-E-A-S-T, that that is what is happening now. Um, they are, many of them are being um, taken with that flood. But God, you know, talks about, you know, blessed is he, blessed is he who waits and comes to the thousand three hundred and thirty-five days, but go your way until the end, and you shall rest and stand. So that's uh, Daniel, Daniel twelve twelve. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of its mouth. And I believe that is where we are now. That the earth, the um, the unmentionable um, 
number 17 phenomena, letter number 17, <laughs> you know what that is, look it up if you don't know, that um, this is the great awakening, that the earth, which is, is the woman, um, has woken up. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keepeth the commands of God. Okay, so I wanted Revelation um, 13, which talks about... the beast that comes out of the sea. Now... Many people have not recognized the bear, and I get it mixed up as well when it comes to re remembering all the signs of the of the Revelation 13. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads, and on its horns were ten diadems. So you see she clearly there was um, praising the United Nations. Um, so this is the ten horns and the seven heads, um, and on its horns were ten diadems. So that's the, the crowns. So that re represents, um, you know, the actual kings, the people like Obama, the people who have had this power. Um, and on its heads were blasphemous names, and the beast that I saw was like a leopard. Its feet, so the leopard is Obama. Its feet were like a bear's, okay? Um, and so this, I believe, is the bear that it's, um, even though many people have said that Obama was a Manchurian candidate for Russia, I believe that this is to California, because as we know, it's, it's California, as it was with Jacinda, that, um, you know, that is where she got her voice. She got her voice, you know, with all the, you know, the what do you call them, the actors, and just as, just as Obama did, they were the ones that really spread it forth. And then also it talks about the, the lion. It has, um, its mouth was like a lion's mouth, okay? So the lion, of course, represents England. And, of course, as you know, you know, the Queen and, and the royal family, you know, were all over both um, Obama and Jacinda, but certainly not Trump. And it says, and, um, and the dragon gave its power and his throne and great authority. One of his heads seemed to have received a death blow, but its mortal wound had been healed. Well, that's where we're at now. We are um, looking at Obama actually, you know, ruling from the basement. I think, I don't know if you know that, but I might just look it up. Um, Obama was quoted as saying... I quite like the idea of of ruling from the basement. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> Which is exactly what is happening now, and uh, and when it, even when it took, it says here, um, one of its heads seemed to have. Received a death blow, in other words, um, there it is, oh, got it, great. Um, seemed to have received a death blow, you know, he'd lost his power, but its mortal wound had been healed. In amazement, the whole earth followed the beast. They worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, who is like the beast and who can fight against it so I think what we're seeing now is that exactly that that the people just don't know how to fight this and they are pretty amazed I think looking at you know what is standing in, in your White House um, the beast was given a mouth uttering haughty and blasphemous words so he's already done that but um, the blasphemous name just occurred to me when I looked at the title on my video and I called it Ja, I called it, no, um, Transcend. And so I looked up the words Ja Sinda because straight away I thought, Ja, Ja means Jehovah in Hebrew, Ja means Jehovah. Da, and da in Hebrew means the. And so, and sin means missing the mark or 
um, failing. Um, that, that is what it means. So here she is calling her, you know, her, her name is Jacinda, so it's a blasphemous name because we know God cannot fail. But her name says that God has failed. So it's the Jehovah, the God, um, the failing, who, who does not reach, does not <clears throat> reach its mark. And I believe that's what we're seeing now, that she is failing. So um, here, if you haven't seen this, um, is there a video? Have a look. And of course, Stephen Cobia was is right was uh, right behind Jacinda as well. So this was the California Bear connection again. So I haven't watched it. I used to say, you know what? If if I could make an arrangement where um, I had a, I had a, a stand in a front man or front woman and, and they had an earpiece in and I was just in my basement in my sweats mm -hmm. looking through the stuff and then I could sort of deliver the lines but somebody else was uh, doing all the talking and ceremony I, I'd be fine with that because I found the work fascinating um, I mean I write about the, the, the uh, even in, in my on my worst days I found puzzling out you know these big complicated, difficult issues, especially if you were working with some great people, to be uh, <laughs> uh, professionally really satisfying. Um, but I, I do not miss uh, having to wear a tie every day. And uh, or there, Are there things that you people. like, are there, are there aspects of the job, because we found out from your successor that there's a whole bunch of stuff you don't actually have to do. People still can see oh, you no. president. Do you look at him and go like, I didn't have to do any of that stuff? I know. I don't do this stuff? Are there yeah. things that he chucked out and you went, oh, if only I had known I didn't have to do that? What, think... what like playing golf 24-7? Grief. Aren't they? Isn't it incredible how these people can lie so, you know, blatantly, you know, Obama never worked a day in his bleeding life. And Trump, as you know. You know, still out tweeting at 3 a.m. in the morning, and he did the whole the whole thing for nothing. So anyway, um, it, that's all I've got to say. I think, you know, I think, um, you know, we, we, we're just watching it all play out. We're watching it all play out, and uh, I'll, I'll just finish off with a little bit of um, of the Bible to give you hope because. Not only does Jacinda's name say that uh, she is going to fail, but the Bible does as well. So it's it's in, in Revelation. Um, Four. We'll say f dash five. Hope I get enough. So it said that we're, we're, this is where we're at. Oh golly, where are we at? <laughs> and the lamb went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne when he took it, the four living creatures. Okay. Okay. When the four, when he broke the fourth seal, I heard a voice of the fourth creature say, "Come!" And there, as I looked, with another horse, sickly and pale, pale, and its rider's name was Death, and Hades came close behind. To him was given power over a quarter of the earth, with the right to kill by sword and by famine, by pestilence and by wild beasts. So I believe that's where we are now, and that's why they're pushing the number. When um, he broke the fifth seal, I saw underneath the altar the souls of those who had been slaughtered for God's word and for the testimony they bore. They gave a great cry, How long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, must it be before thou wilt vindicate and avenge our blood on the inhabitants of the earth? Each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to rest a little while longer until the tally should be complete of all their brothers in service, in Christ's service, who were to be killed as they were. Um, 
then also it says um, after this and so this is why you've got to understand that you know we are here you know we're not going anywhere um, after this I looked so of course this is we're talking about the 12 before when I told you about the the, the woman giving birth to the the 12 um, she had the 12 stars on her in her crown. After this, I saw four angels stationed at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds so that no wind should blow on sea or land or any tree. Then I saw another angel rising out of the east, carrying the seal of the living God. And he called aloud to the four angels who had been given the power to ravage land and sea. Okay, so you get it. Here again, I got you know a woman arguing with me today. The angel, it's the angels, the good angels have been given the power to do this. They are doing God's work, and that is what it says in Revelation nine and twenty that Apollyon, Abaddon, the destroyer, is actually Jesus come as in that position, you know, and that you know, in the angelic form. You know, um, and Michael is one of his angels, but we also, where you have the angelic form, you also have as above, so below, the human form. And the human form who will actually reign on the earth is Donald Do John Trump as King of Kings. You know, because it makes no sense, does it, that Jesus, after sitting at the right hand of God the Father in the heaven, is going to be satisfied to come and live in a house down on earth. And put up with all this, you know. I mean, heaven has got to be a whole lot better. It would be absolute torture for him to have to leave his father. So this is exactly what it says. Do no damage to sea or land or trees until we have set the seal of our God upon the foreheads of his servants. And I heard the number of those who had received the seal from all the tribes of Israel. There were 144,000, 12,000 from the tribe of Judah, 12,000 from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 from the tribe of Gad, etc., etc., until we get the 144,000. So that's where, that's where we are at now, and that is um, Revelation 4. Okay, so that just is exactly repeating Revelation 9 and 20. Again, it's the same, the same story. And then we have, it says, After this I looked and saw a vast throng, which no one could count, from every nation of all tribes, peoples, and languages, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. They were robed in white and had palms in their hands, and they shouted together, Victory to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. So I believe that these are the new guests. These are those what, who have come through the movement of the you-know-what. Um, and uh, I got a big letter from um, from Mr. Giddies today. So it's Martin. Um, I won't say his other name. You can put them together because he's been so banned that it may get me flagged. But I'll let you just see a little bit of his letter. Um, these are the men who have passed through the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Okay, so they weren't white before, but they have repented and they have come to God now, you know, and washed their, their robes in the blood of the Lamb. That is why they stand before the throne of God and minister her, to Him day and night in His temple, and He who sits on the throne will dwell with them, and they shall never again feel hunger or thirst, nor the sun shall not beat. On them nor any scorching heat because the lamb who is at the heart of the throne will be their shepherd okay so I believe that there we're back in heaven here so this is the souls you know because as it shows in Daniel that this is the time of the opening of of the you know of of the of the you know um, books you know and uh, so if Satan is out you know, out of heaven now you know that the saints who have already died can now be released. Um, now when the Lamb broke the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for what seemed like half an hour. Then I looked, and the seven angels that stand in the presence of God were given seven trumpets. Then another angel came and stood at the altar, 
having holding a golden censer and he was given a great quantity of incense to offer with the prayers of all God's people upon the altar, golden altar in front of the th throne. And from the angel's hands, the smoke of the incense went up before God with the prayers of his people. Then the angel took the censer, filled it from the altar fire and threw it down upon the earth and there were peals of thunder, lightnings and an earthquake. Amen. Okay, so here we have it. I'll just let you see a little bit of this. If you haven't, um, he can still be found on the, uh, Robert David's Steele's site. So he's uh, put up a, um, he's got a book up there, Open Your Mind. So we, the people, are sheep no more. Okay, so I will, four years of, I will say O instead of the 17th letter. One of the highlights of the last few years was having the Financial Times libel me as a misinformation super spreader. After I repeated basic facts about immunology to be found in any undergraduate textbook. I have also been slurred by Newsweek and London's Evening Standard newspaper. Previous writing about the O network performance algebra never got me much publicity, controversy or public notoriety. What changed to make me a target? Four years ago tomorrow on 28th of October 2017, the first of the O drops appeared on the 4chan message board. So that is four years. While I don't typically hang out there as I am a synthesist and not an analyst, I have plenty of amphibian friends who do. As a result, I got to track the O phenomenon right from the beginning. That was the most significant release of intelligence, that this was the most significant release of intelligence in history was soon abundantly clear to anyone paying attention. From late 2017, I have become a popular commentator on this back channel between the military and the awake section of the public. It is not the only means of communication that exists, but it is by far the most significant. The ordinary process of scientific empirical rationalism, looking at the O-drop data, forming hypotheses about it and testing them against experience, has become a revolutionary in endeavor in wartime okay so you can download that uh, free we essay collection so these are university level papers that he has done on it we can now he was originally a skeptic a skeptic we can now better understand the o drops in the historical context the great awakening is the white hat liberty answer to the black hat Great Reset Tyranny. Make America Great Again is not only about restoring the public's lost shine. Um, um, but is a process of restoring individual liberty and rule of law to everyone everywhere. The lasting defeat of totalitarianism on earth has demanded a suitable anti totalitarianism tool. O is that weapon of mass discernment. The O drops form a complex information landscape, part of a wider battlefield to define reality and control the narrative or eliminate such gatekeepers. The drops are both internally referenced to each other and externally referenced. Okay, so I will put a, um, a, link, a link to that, but um, no, here we have we we're in that time, that moment when the the dragon and his angels are fighting against the against Michael and his. Praise God, saying we know who wins. So rest in peace and be blessed in Jesus' name. And uh, yeah, not long to go. Not long to go, guys.